Welcome to another Igloo Imaging tutorial. This one is on these strange kind of data images, visual, digital representations, lines with dots on the end of it, whatever you want to call them. Um, I've seen a few requests uh, in other tutorials on how to create this effect, and that's what I'm going to show you today. So if you just get rid of everything, my artboard is a thousand pixels square. I've just used some of the Adobe Color Themes presets. Um, this retro one is the one I'm using. If you want to load that up, then just add it to your swatches and you can work along with me. Now, first thing we're going to do is find the line segment tool. And we're going to draw a line out from the center, holding shift to about there. And this line's just got a white stroke on it. Now, to start with, I'm going to use the width tool and I'm going to find the center point roughly uh, and I'm going to drag it out just a tiny bit. And I'm going to find these end points and I'm going to drag them out and then push them right into it till they disappear. Same with this one. Drag it out, push it right until it disappears. What you'll get is thin to thick. Just oh, that one has a bit to thin, there, thin to thick to thick. Now, when you select that line and you go to strokes, there, you'll see arrowheads. If you can't see that, you might need to click the, the more options. Now, on one of these, on the right hand one, you'll click the drop down and you'll see all these different arrowheads. And what we want is just a circle, number 21. Now, it's too big. So just click the 100% and bring it down to about 60%. Probably down even a little bit more. Because we can change these later. So 35%, there we go, that'll work. Now that's given us one line. So the first thing I'm gonna do is duplicate this line. So I'm gonna select it, I'm gonna Command C, Command Shift V, which is copy and paste in place. And then with my A, Direct Select tool, I'm just gonna direct select the end of it and move it out a bit. So that is generally the process. So with a bit of time lapse, we'll uh, start to fill this in. So once we've got to a point like this, we can then select a few using A and we're going to change the size of the circular arrow head to make those ones bigger. Put it to about 50% is enough. Make some of them smaller. Put it down to about let's see 20 19 20%. And then you can start to move them around just so you get a bit of randomness. That should do it now. I don't really like the weight of these lines at the minute, so I'm going to direct select all of these lines and I'm going to drop the weight down to 1.5 pixels. We've just missed that one out, so we'll do that one as well. So 1.5 pixels. That looks a bit better. We were just getting a bit blocked up here in the middle, so let's take these out a bit more, make some of these bigger, because obviously when I've done the stroke the arrowheads have gone down a bit, so let's pump these up to be a bit bigger, and that looks about right. So what we're going to do there is press V and Command A and let's select everything. Now you might have seen in the, the time lapse bit me rotating it a different way, I'm going to show you how to do that now. So, Select everything, Command C, Command Shift V, and that's pasted it all in place. Now, if you hit R, you'll see there's a center path anchor point here. Now, just hover over that until you see path, and then oh, hover over it and drag it to this center point here. And when you've done that, let go of it and drag and rotate around. 
and that's going to rotate around that center point there. So drag it till about there. There we go, zoom out a bit. Uh, command A, select all again. Command C, Command Shift V, and then R, and move that center point into there. Ooh. And rotate it around to about there. And that's pretty much the effect. Now you'll see on some of them they've got this concentration in the middle as well. So if you want to go for that kind of effect, press Command A, which selects everything, Command C, Command Shift V, and then with V selected, go to one of these corner points and drag down, hold in Alt and Shift to about there. And then when you click off, you'll see it gives you a sort of central planetary digital point like that. I don't know what you can call these things, but the effect's quite nice. Um, and that's how you do it. Hope that was helpful. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.